This is an intro to rigging in Maya 2017. And in this video, we're just going to set up our, our toolbars, uh, get a couple custom scripts, learn about the uh, mail scripting language and how we can use mail commands and custom scripts to help us out and the basic creation of joints. So real quick, most models like a human, for example, has a root node at zero, zero, zero. And that's called a locator or sometimes that's called uh, just the root node. And then as a child, I'm going to select this button. Now, this is the this is the create locator button. That's what I use to create this. And now this is the create joints button. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the root. So I create a child of that. And now I'm going to create my uh, I'll create a couple of joints here. So I have joint one, joint two, joint three. And like always, I can just use the Q, W, E, R for scale, rotate, move, and translate. And a lot of times it's handy to select an, a, an entire hierarchy of elements for example uh, a hand has a lot of bones in it and it's good to select all the um, joints in the hand so for that you could just say select hierarchy um, but this is where I'm gonna get into the mail commands and I wanna give credit where it's due I learned this in the introduction to rigging in my 2017 by Eric Kunzendorf. So thank you, Eric, for the great series. This is on Plural Sight, uh, and you can even get a free trial to get this information. But this was in the "Well Begun Is Half Done" section, and so we could say select hierarchy and that's going to select the entire hierarchy so if we click this button right down here it says script editor and that's for this mail mail script which is up the Maya scripting and I can see everything I do in here that so it says select and it said clear because I just clicked out here and if I click here it says I selected uh, selected the different joints so we can click select hierarchy and that works another way to do it is this click on joint one and we can type select and we do a dash H I with the semicolon and press enter we'll see that it selects the entire hierarchy and if I click the button right here for the script editor, you'll see the command that I did there with the select dash high. Now I want to save this command to the shelf up here, and that's what this button does, save to the shelf. So I'm going to select this and say save to the shelf, enter a new name. I could say select high and this is a mail script and there it is so if I click now if I could just select joint one click this we get the select hierarchy I'm gonna right click on that and delete and another way to get this would be just to click select and I could hold down control shift and click on hierarchy that's gonna automatically put one of these commands on onto the bar so multiple ways to get that done now I'm on the modeling um, page and I don't want to be here for rigging so I'm gonna select this and go to rigging this gives me my rigging toolbar and the other one I want to make sure that I'm on here is uh, the rigging tab right here so again let's add that back with control shift and there it is so I have the select hierarchy um, and here is the command select hierarchy that they're running so uh, I guess there's multiple ways to call the the 
the same thing and I could add that to the shelf with uh, select hierarchy as a mail script and uh, obviously it's the same exact thing as that one so now that we have that set up we want to get a couple other custom scripts in here and the custom scripts again um, thanks to Eric Kusendorf he referred me to these I hadn't uh, seen these before cometcartoons.com slash mailscript.php and there's a lot of uh, I guess what these are and I've, I don't work in the AAA I'm indie but I guess these are industry standard scripts when it comes to Regan and Maya and I can see why they're very nice tools uh, so the mail scripts suite is right here um, click that zip to download it and then in the zip file you're gonna find all the dot mail scripts along with the icon and take a look at the readme um, for installation you basically just need to put it into your documents and settings uh, your document slash Maya slash scripts folder and so I've already moved my um, documents my uh, scripts folder and you can see I have all those comment joint orient comment rename these are the two that we're going to uh, you could just get these two but it's probably a good idea to learn all the rest of them as well so comment joint orient and comment rename and we're gonna bring those into our Maya slash scripts folder uh, like I already have here and once that's done you can just call those commands from mail script uh, so I'm going to copy comment joint orient and put it in here with the semicolon at the end and uh, press enter well that's not going to do anything but it will if I do it right down here and press enter there we go and then it brings it up the comment joint orient window now I want to have this on my toolbar so I'm going to select delete this here I'm gonna select this and say send to the save script to the shelf and this will be joint orient and it's a mail script and the other one that we want is the comment rename whoops so we could just say comment rename And if I want to execute it here instead, I could click this play button. That's going to bring up the comment rename window. And this is another really good tool that we're going to use. Um, I'm not going to cover them too much because this video is more about how to, how to do this kind of stuff. Um, and we'll get into using these tools later in the rigging videos. But this one helps you set your joint orientations and this one helps you rename everything so all my joints that are called joints I want to call those my uh, left arm I could say search and replace there we go um, so I want to go to the comment rename select this save it to my shelf and we'll just say rename and it's a mail script so the we got the select hierarchy, the joint comet joint orient, and the comet rename tools. Um, and for example, with the joint orient, if I have this, I could say select hierarchy and show access. That's going to show uh, the access on each joint. And what that means in Unity is when I export this 3D model to Unity, the uh, armature has the same uh, hierarchy in unity as it does here in Maya and in unity each one of these transforms has a translation position and rotation and that's what this joint orientation is it's the rotation value of that uh, so a lot of times it's especially when working with 
with um, humans and human rigging, we need to have control over the orientation of all the joints. So we know how to create the locator node. We need to hold down middle click and move this onto the root. I didn't have that as a child, so holding down middle click and moving it onto there. Now we have our locator joint, which is at the zero, zero, zero. We have our, our first joint, second joint, and third. And we got the tools that we need set up um, to get into rigging humans. Stay tuned in the next videos. Now that we got the basics done, we're going to get into actual rigging, setting up human uh, uh, rigs to work with human IK and doing animations and eventually working with motion capture files in conjunction with motion builder. See you guys in the next video.